Hey guys, it's Dave here from Made Simple Media. Today I want to tell you about Cloudflare, which is a fantastic tool for improving the performance and reliability of your website. It does this by protecting them from attacks such as DDoS attacks. Rate limiting is an easy way of preventing your server from being overloaded. In this video we look at how you can add a rate limiting rule in Cloudflare. Rate limiting says that if a user tries to load a page in our site so many times that it is unreasonable, then we should stop that user from doing it. I say a user, but normally it would be a bot trying to load your page hundreds of times a second to overload the server. So why use Cloudflare? Well, Cloudflare is one of the biggest networks on the internet. This network is also known as a CDN, which is short for Content Delivery Network. Website owners use Cloudflare for security and performance reasons. Cloudflare helps connect and protect millions of websites globally. Cloudflare can be used for free, or you can opt for a paid plan with more features. It's very easy to get started, and the benefits are instantaneous once set up. I have dabbled with other CDNs in the past that were harder to use, requiring much more configuration, so I prefer Cloudflare for protecting our clients' websites. To get started, simply Google Cloudflare. On the Cloudflare website, click Sign Up, and under the free plan, click Add a Website. Once your account is set up, make sure you have enabled the Cloudflare proxies on the DNS page. To do this, click DNS on the left-hand navigation. These proxies allow Cloudflare to optimize, cache, and protect all requests to your application, as well as protect your origin server from DDoS attacks. Typically, we only add the proxies to A records. It can cause issues with MX records. When a proxy is enabled, you will see an orange cloud on that DNS record. Next, we can add our rate limiting rule. Click Security in the left hand navigation. Then click WAF. In the tabs, click Rate Limiting Rules. Then click the blue button that says Create Rule. The next screen asks us some questions about our rule. First of all, we need to name our rule. Name the rule something that makes sense at a glance. In this case, we'll simply call it Limit Requests. After this, we need to specify which requests match our rule. For example, it could be requests to a certain URL, but in this case, we want to match any request to our website's pages. Under Field, select the URI Path option. Because we're matching all pages, we simply use a wildcard operator. To do this, enter a single asterisk character. So, how many requests are deemed too many? This might vary depending on your site and what elements are on the page. For example, a page with a lot of traffic and lots of page elements such as CSS, JavaScript and images will need to allow more requests per second from an IP address. In Cloudflare, we set our maximum requests over a 10 second period. This is the amount of requests we will allow in 10 seconds. So in this example, we'll allow 200, which is 20 per second. So what happens if a user or bot on a specific IP address exceeds the number of requests? This is where we choose what we want to do with that potentially harmful user or bot. In our example, we will block the IP address for 10 seconds so that it cannot continue to make this huge number of requests to our website's server. After this time, the user or bot can then load the page but if they again try to make too many requests, they'll be blocked again. Wouldn't it be great if we could see our new rate limiting rule in action? The great thing is, Cloudflare keeps a log where we can do that. Cloudflare calls this a log of events. To view these events, go to events here under security, just above WAF, where we set our rate limiting rule. You'll see there are already built-in rules that the Cloudflare firewall uses. But it will also show our new rule being used if an IP address triggers it. 
You'll see certain locations are triggering these rules on a daily basis for some sites. So to summarize, Cloudflare's rate limiting rules are very easy to set up and can have a powerful effect on preventing your website being overloaded. Mitigating these simple attacks in Cloudflare means they never hit your server. This is great practice and keeps your server running with maximum uptime. Head on over to madesimplemedia.co.uk for more helpful tips in our blog and please do feel free to get in touch if you need our help with anything. Take care and see you next time.